Welcome back to the annual Awano Leaders Awards show, where we honor our leaders that work hard for the Sparkies. Today, we have two leaders receiving awards, but before we go into that, can one of you fine gentlemen tell me what the word considerate means? Um, I think it means to be caring and thoughtful, like letting someone else be first. It, it's being polite. You are very, very right, Mr. Mason, and tonight we want to honor you for your hard work teaching our Sparkies their Bible verses every week. Let's all give a hand for Mr. Mason. <laughs> However, before he gets his treat, I want to tell you all a story about kindness in the Bible. It is located in Genesis 13. We read about Uncle Abraham and nephew Lot. When Abraham moved to a place called Negev, Lot went with him. So they lived by each other and they took care of each other's animals, but now, they had a problem. They had too many animals on their land and the people who worked for them started arguing with each other all the time. They needed to divide the land. Abraham told Lot to pick a spot first. Now, this would have been a good time for nephew Lot to return the kindness that Abraham had shown to him. He could have said, Uncle Abe, you are older than I am. You are the one who has shown great kindness to me. You have guided me. I think you should go first. Do you think Lot said that? No. He was excited about getting the best land. He didn't even think about being kind, or at least the Bible doesn't tell us he did. Do you think Lot let Abraham go first? No, he didn't. He went ahead and picked first. He wasn't nice at all. Being kind is so important, which is why we want to honor Mr. Mason. Could you come up here, please? We have a special treat to honor you for being such a good Awana leader. Please, take a snack. Well, before I do, I would also like to honor Mr. JW. When I came in tonight, he held the door open for me, and I really appreciated that. I think he should have a special treat, too. Come on up, Mr. JW. I really appreciate uh, you holding the door for me before, and I want you to have the first choice of the treats tonight. Well, I think I'm going to take this big box of candy. Well, I guess I'll get the old pepper then. Hmm. That doesn't seem quite right. Well, anyway, back to Abraham and Lot. Lot decided he would pick the land he wanted and not let Abraham go first. Probably Lot went ahead and chose first because he could tell right away which land was the nicest. One part of the land was green while the other was dry. Of course he wanted the green land and not the dry land. Lot wasn't about to let good old Uncle Abraham get the best land. But think about it. The reason Lot was there in the first place was because Uncle Abraham. He should have let Abraham choose first, but no, he wanted the best for himself. Just like Mr. J.W. chose the candy bars and let Mr. Mason take the old pepper. Of course, we did that to show how mean it is to take the best for yourself. Not because Mr. J.W. is an unkind person. So, Lot took the best land. The land that looked just right for raising his animals. But, there was a big problem with the land that Lot didn't think about. The land was next to two cities that were very wicked. The cities were called Sodom and Gomorrah. The people in them did horrible things, and Lot did not have the courage to say, No, I will not let the people in those cities make me make bad choices. Lot didn't live on the new good land for very long before he moved his family right into the wicked cities. Later, God allowed those cities to be destroyed because the people were so wicked, Lot just barely escaped. In fact, something very sad happened to Lot. God sent two angels to the city to warn him to take his family and leave before the city was destroyed. Lot didn't want to listen to him, but the angels grabbed his hands and pulled Lot, his wife, and two daughters away from the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. Don't look back. Keep running until you get to the mountain, the angel said. When the families had gotten away from the cities, the cities began to burn. This was so sad. Lot's wife turned to look back at the wicked cities, but that was the wrong thing to do. And she immediately was turned into a pillar of salt. Poor Lot. He just didn't get it. First, he was greedy and unkind and chose the land that looked the best. Then he moved nearer and nearer to the bad cities and was almost destroyed because the cities were destroyed. Maybe if he had been kind to Abraham in the first place, all this wouldn't have happened. Remember, kindness is so important. You can show kindness to your brothers and sisters and your parents. 
We sure miss seeing you smiling faces, but we know that the three of us and all the other leaders here are praying for you, and we love you.